poor Excalibur. <laughs> he is blitzing through this Forbidden Door card. And there may as well have been 87 matches and 20,000 people. And he is going as fast as he's ever gone. But one or two matches in, for the first time, I think, he actually glitched on one of these. He makes one stumble. And once you're two seconds behind, you can never make those two seconds back. So he's trying to desperately to keep up with the screens as they're passing by and the graphics are going up. And the faster they go, the more he screws up. He made like five or six mistakes in this. By the end of this, he is legit gasping for breath. He appeared to have blacked out. Jim Ross and Tony Schiavone are laughing at him, saying, I'm sorry, I missed one of those matches. Can you run down that card again? And like 30 seconds pass, and finally Excalibur is able to weakly mutter, I have ascended. <laughs> you know what's funny? is like, at yes, this, this point, at this point, and I've actually done this on Observer Live because I'm not as professional as Excalibur. I'm trying to wrap the show up, and I just lose track, and I just end up going, ah, blah, blah, and I just end the show like that. That's what he needs to do. Just like in the middle of this, just turn into delirious. And just like me rattling off interim uh, championship, John was ah, blah, 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 and just, just freak out and just be done with it. Then maybe they won't ask you to do it anymore. Oh. Golly. But I want you to run down this card, Vinny. Not fast, but I want you to run it down. Well, because I am going to attempt... I am going to attempt to go over this entire card and everything that has been changed to the best of my knowledge. I don't I think see. I know everything, but I know a lot, so go for it. All right, hang on here. I'm still looking this up. Forbidden door. Uh, I do not want the 2009 Indonesian psychological thriller film. That's not it. All right. Do, do, do. All right. Dark match. Max Caster and the Gun Club, including Billy Gunn. Yeah. Versus Uemura, is it Uemura? Yuya Uemura, Alex Coglin, the DKC, and Kevin Knight. I actually don't know if anything was changed in this match, but given that Anthony Bowens is injured, my guess is that he was supposed to be in there and not Billy Gunn. But I don't know that one for sure because he's been injured for a while now. But it doesn't matter anyway. It's just the buy in. Yeah. John Moxley versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. Obviously, this one was changed. Yes, which this is, is for the interim funny. AW title. It was supposed to be CM Punk versus Hiroshi Tanahashi, but CM Punk broke his foot, apparently. We actually don't know for sure. He had a lower leg injury. I see. And he was replaced in this match with John Moxley. Which is funny because Moxley and Tanahashi feels like a much bigger match. I mean, maybe they were trying to see it is. a New Japan card, but yeah, that worked out better. A four way. For the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship, Jay White versus Kazuchika Okada versus Heyman Page versus Adam Cole. Okay. This one. They outright said Okada's not coming. <laughs> well, I th I, I'm i thinking that they may have done that because they wanted that big uh, coin drop moment where everybody just freaked the fuck out because he's actually going to be on the show. And you may be asking, well, why would you do that on the go-home show if it's a championship match? Well, I can tell you that originally this was not a championship match. Originally, this was a tag team match with no IWGP heavyweight title on the line. And uh, one of the guys in this match was actually not in the match. But they have been moved elsewhere here on this show. So this was never supposed to be a championship match. It was never supposed to be a four-way. I shouldn't say it was never supposed to be. Originally, this was going to be a tag match, and they changed it to a four-way. So I don't know why, but this one also changed from the original plan. Pac, excuse me, a four-way for the inaugural AEW All-Atlantic Championship. Pac versus Miro versus Malachi Black versus Clark Connors. This was changed due to injury. Because About an hour ago. Tomohiro Ishii was supposed to be in the match, and uh, he did an interview where he actually said, uh, four ways aren't my thing, but I won, so I guess I'll do it. <laughs> and uh, very Ishii promo. But in fact, he uh, was not on the show last night, mm -hmm. and it turns out he has suffered a knee injury, so he has been replaced by the guy that he beat, Clark Connors, yes. which I'm thrilled for Clark that he gets to work this show. Oh, absolutely. Are you kidding? 
But yeah. uh, another match, not yeah. as it was originally planned. It will be fun. It'll That's be three for fun. three, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara, and Minoru Suzuki versus Eddie Kingston, Wheeler Yuta, and Shota Umino. Umino. Pardon me. I should know this by now. But... I fuck it up every time. Yeah. Um, I'm actually not sure if this one was changed from uh, whatever they had originally. Uh, this may have been the idea all along. So I will just go with the presumption that nothing changed in this particular match. Perhaps I will find out otherwise tomorrow. But I think we're now uh, one for four. Uh, yes. For the IWGP US title, Will Osprey versus Orange Cassidy. Changed. <laughs> This match was changed. It was supposed to be Will Ospreay versus Andrade. Because I guess they must have figured that Andrade uh, would be okay to work the show. But then, uh, politically, he was ixnade from the show. And so he was replaced with Orange Cassidy. Who actually, Orange Cassidy may have been the name that was going to be in the uh, match that is now a four-way for the title. It was originally a tag team match. So, uh, yeah, that was changed. Three-way tag match for both the Ring of Honor and IWGP Tag Team Championships. FTR versus Great Ocon and Jeff Cobb versus Rapongi Vice. I couldn't tell you all of the details, but uh, I was given the impression that this was not the originally scheduled match and that it has been changed to this. Why? What it originally was, I don't know. But this one also was uh, changed from whatever was originally planned. AEW Women's World Championship, Thunder Rosa versus Tony Storm. I believe this has actually been planned from the beginning. It, it is actually <laughs> taking place as planned, provided nobody gets hurt in the next 72 hours or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, much less than six days. Uh... Eight-man tag team match. El Fantasmo, Hikaleo, and the Young Bucks versus Los Stinger Nobles de Havon, Darby Allen, Sting, Shingo, and Hiromu Takahashi. Uh, this one for sure was uh, not as planned. And uh, given that there are eight individuals involved, my guess is that they all had their match changed countless times <laughs> before it ended up being this match here. Including, I think, on the day of the show, it was probably changed again. And match 10, Zack Sabre Jr. versus Mystery Opponent. This match was changed because it was supposed to be Brian Danielson versus Zack Sabre Jr. Brian Danielson unable to perform. He will be replaced likely by Claudio Castagnoli, but I don't know. And uh, another match, not as originally planned. So I think we got two matches of so ten, far. Of the 10 matches, that's the, that's the end. Uh, yes. Of the 10 matches, the two that we think are original are the trios match with Jericho, Suzuki, and Sammy, and the women's match between Thunder Rosa and Tony Storm. All of the others were shuffled around due to emergency. And honestly, 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 I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if the uh, Jericho, Suzuki, Sammy versus Eddie Wheeler and Shota Umino match got changed at some point. The only one I feel very confident about is uh, Thunder Rosa and Tony Storm. So, holy smokes. Wow. Yeah. This show is cursed. It is. But I do believe that on Monday morning, Observer Live will be everybody raving about how great the show was. I, I do believe that. I think it's just going to be awesome. We're not done with Dynamite yet, by the way. Rusty. Rusty Rose, 10 4 <laughs> Dusty. Is it rusty or dusty? <laughs> it's uh, it's dusty. Harmon Blanchett. <laughs> okay, out of ring. Her, and, Herman and Blanchett. <laughs> Harwin. <laughs> Way back then, they had cha chain barricades. <laughs> and then they had a tag team with Rich Fl uh, Rick Flair and some more guys. And... <laughs> So that was that. I'm just too... Who, who did Rusty Rhodes wrestle? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure 4 Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.